guys good morning ladies and gentlemen how are we oh it was hot yesterday 95 and it's going to be a little bit hotter today they expect around 97 but we have got tons of yards to catch up on well not true we're on tuesday finally caught up i've got two monday yards left but they are in this route so hope you guys are having a blessed day uh man we had a great night we got to go to church and go to the revival and if i get done today hopefully we'll be able to do that again the video might be out in the morning it might be out at 11 o'clock tonight i have no idea all i know is i've got to get some work done but uh boy i've got an interesting story for you today and it involves a customer it involves something the customer had to do and have you ever given a refund i, I want to know so guys let me get to work i'll get some footage along the way we'll talk and i'll see you soon Right, guys I'm gonna show you something back here and he was okay with last week cutting it so not much you can do man it is uh, pretty much underwater now that yard that I had um, shown you last week that was soaked and all mud that thing was beautiful today but uh, here's what we got and those are my tracks and these are the guy that was cutting this yard back here so it is soaked and underwater boys and girls it's a mess 
So, hey, I'm gonna get this finished. This is all that's left. And uh, I'll be right back with you. So there's a quick sneak peek of the uh, wheel marks. Looks pretty good. Let's go down here. Not bad. Gotta have wheel marks, guys. That is the epitome of a nice yard. You get them wheel marks in there, man, and you are golden. But, uh, hey, let me blow this off. I'll see you somewhere down the line. This is number 11. It's almost 1 o'clock. I've got three more I'm trying to get done if I can. If I can't, I'm not worried about it, man. But uh, it is already 93 degrees out. It is steaming out here, boys and girls. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I got a pet peeve. Here's my pet peeve. These guys come in and fertilize, and they always seem to go the way that you have to go. So when you do your lines, their lines are all over the place, and it just looks like a jumbled mess. It doesn't look good. And that drives me crazy, because when you're out here striping or wheel marking, you want it to look nice. And that last part I just uh, mowed, it doesn't look nice till you get to the very backyard. Hey guys, who are uh, doing your fertilizer? Stop fertilizing every two days. Thank you. I'll be back guys. Okay guys, that's it. 15 by 320. Started at 10 after 7. That's all my leg has got today. Um, here's what I did. It's a very small front yard. I'm going to take you to the back and show you that pretty pretty big backyard so whoo man it is it's warm and i will not complain because there is no rain right now thank the lord uh got some wheel marks here a few wheel marks not many you can see last uh last week's cut there but this is a pretty good size backyard it goes up to the end of that fence all the way across past the electric boxes and then down pretty big but uh, looks good so had a situation yesterday a customer called me and I'm gonna start by the reason I'm telling this story is because I want you all to know that not, not, no professional is perfect. We we all make mistakes. We try not to, and we do the best we can. But it happens. So a customer called me, and he was, I wouldn't say he was upset, but he wasn't happy. He had to rake his yard up and bag it, and he asked me. He said, "Why, out of all these years?" Does it look bad now? Well, you know, <clears throat> one thing I told him is people have to understand we have had a substantial amount of rain, unlike anything we've ever had. Um, in April, we broke records, and we started keeping those records almost 100 years ago. So, but I will tell you, this was my fault totally uh, my fault I knew where the low and high spots were and I knew my deck was not right I mean today I mowed with the deck completely up I found out that is four inches so my deck is way out of whack yes I'm going to adjust it but I don't have time right now to be honest with you man I, I'm so busy by the time I get home and do everything I need to do. It's late. Um, you know, we don't, we cook dinner at home and that means I have to cook. Um, Miss Sarah can do a lot of things, but cooking is not one of them. So it takes time to cook a meal, man. And it takes time to put these videos out. It takes time to, you know, call people in the evening and 
it, it, all this stuff takes time. And when you're working until four, five, six o'clock, it doesn't leave you with much time before it's time to clonk out and do it again. But what I did is I set the mower at four and a quarter, knowing full well that that wasn't four and a quarter, but I didn't think about it. I was in such a hurry to mow it. And what happens is when you have undulations in the yard, as the deck goes down, there's no wheels. There's no anti-scalping wheels on the outside of these V-rides, okay? The anti-scalping wheels are in the middle. So that deck dropped, and it with the mower at, at essentially three and a half, it cut into the yard. And it did it in two places. And so I called him today, and I said, you know, I thought about it, and I said, I know exactly what happened. I told him, and he said, man, I'm, you know, he told me yesterday, he said, man, I think the world of you, Shane. He said, but I just want my yard to be nice. And he is a great guy. He's a great customer. Never complained in seven years. So it was completely on me, man. Just not thinking, being in a hurry, trying to get these yards done. And what I did is I told him, I said, that cuts on me. It's free. And um, he said, you don't have to do that. I said, no. You know, it's my fault. And it was. It was my fault. I said, I want, I feel better not charging you for it, even though I was there for a while and it was very thick. I mean, it was thick, guys. And when I tell you that, I mean, I probably cut nine inches off of it. So, but as a professional, sometimes when you make a mistake, man, you have to own up to it. And you have to, you know, bite the bullet. And I did. And I know what I did wrong now. And I'm going to be a lot more cognizant of it when I get there next time. And it's changed how I'm mowing with the V-Ride. Now, once I get my bad boy back, which the bolts or the nuts and the washers are in the mail. So I should get them either today or tomorrow then I can use the bad boy, it is set perfectly, and then I've gotta worry about getting this one set. But guys, if you make a mistake, okay, don't, you know, don't, find, don't try to find your way out of it by lying. That doesn't help anybody. He was very understanding yesterday, and I told him, I said, you know, I just can't understand, and then I started thinking about it. And I called him back this morning and I said, I know exactly what I did wrong and it was my fault. I said, so I am glad that you're not paying for that want that service. Now, well, he, you know, he's paying for the other four cuts of the month, of course, but I'm not going to do that to him. I'm not going to make him pay if he's not happy with the service and he was not happy. Now, he's always been happy with my service any other time, but this time... It was Doc's fault, man. So, I know we get upset with customers. I know we have problems with customers. But, man, some customers are absolutely worth saving. And this guy is just a super guy. Takes care of me. Never have to ask for anything. And uh, I just made a mistake, man. I wonder, I wonder how many of you guys who are going to leave comments will tell me a mistake that you made and how you messed up. Because there's a lot of guys out here, man, that will say, I, I, never, I never make a mistake like that. I've never done that. I have a friend, a close friend, that he has never made a mistake in his life. Uh, he's a home builder, and he's never made a mistake in his life. And, and he'll tell you, I, I don't make that mistake. I, I never made that mistake. I've never done that. Come on, man. 
we've all done things and made mistakes. See, I've been in business 15 years and I made a mistake. So you got to own up to it, guys. Well, listen, I'm going home. It is boiling hot. I love it. No rain. We're supposed to get rain later this evening. Uh, we're going to be back out at it tomorrow, so I'll see you then. This video, unfortunately, will not be out till probably 11, 1130 tonight. So I love all you guys. God blessed me with a great day, and he blessed me with the ability to get to church again tonight. So thank you, Lord. I love you. And uh, guys, as always, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real, man. Keep it real with your customers. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.